uh hi everyone uh, in this video we'll talk about the concept of random walk uh, so random walk is very important uh, uh, concept but it's a in same way it's a very simplistic uh, concept uh, it is used in the stock market it's used in the various scientific calculation or it can be used in lot of different things in the game theory in the casinos or if you want to even predict the outcome of a support sports you can use the random walk and we'll discuss all this concept in our other videos but here we are just talking about what is the random walk so it's it's very simple so suppose uh, you are very drunk and you can't hold yourself and you are at a pub right so you said okay i'm going to go to my car i i think i'm i'm okay or maybe i can i can walk to my home so it should be okay so you're going to try to walk to your home so you'll take a step and then you'll go another way but now you have no idea where your house is so you are still trying so you're going to move here there up down here there up and down so this is your random walk so where will you end up in the end you can go either way you can come back to the pub or you can end up very far away from the pub right so the probability is everywhere so if i want uh so now suppose your wife is looking for you and uh, she is uh, saying that uh, she she goes to police and say oh i can't find my husband where should i locate him like i i couldn't find him so they will ask uh, how long uh, ha when did you see your husband last time so she will say oh i know he was at pub at around 10 am 10 pm so i'll say okay 10 pm your husband was at the pub and uh, now they assume that he's drunk so he's going to have a random walk so they what's the probability of us finding him so they'll say okay so suppose if this is a pub and uh, suppose if i go in this direction or this direction this most likely your husband gonna be at the pub but it can be also far away so he will draw this distribution and this will be the probability so let's say the probability is highest so this is a this is a pub and this is a distance away from the pub right so the probability so i sh i should call it as a pub pub right so the probability of finding your husband at 10 pm uh, is almost uh, like this right so now uh, your uh, your wife says that oh uh, yeah she 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 is uh, instead of going at 10 pm she'll go at 11 pm so suppose if she goes at 11 pm so then the the what will be the probability of uh, the husband to be uh, close to the pub that will be not much because husband is just taking the random walk so he can be anywhere so now if i try to draw the probability distribution it will look more like this so now if you see this is the pub so the probability is at pub is still higher because this is a random walk but it's it's uh, now higher in this area so if you look at this area and, and 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 if you look at this area there was almost no probability before but now the probability is higher in this area so it's more pos possible that the walk could go far away from the pub and uh, maybe uh, so so the probability is more and the probability is more at higher at longer distances that means the probability to be at pub is less now suppose now your the wife never uh, goes to police and in the morning she realized and then she goes so now it's morning and then she goes to the uh, police and say my, my husband is taking a random walk right so where can i find my husband so then the police will say she he can be anywhere so then it will be a flat line so the probability at pub is as likely as probability somewhere else because it's too long and he could be anywhere so the probability is much higher now this is the concept of random walk right so taking a random walk now how will that apply to a stock market right so let me talk about stock market now so now suppose if i am uh, i have a stock so the stock is at 100 dollars right so now uh i am uh looking at uh 
like intraday so so i am looking at intraday and uh, i'm i'm thinking like uh, i want to bet on the stock so if i'm looking at the uh, possibility so this is 100 and uh, this is 105 and this is 100 and or this is this can be 95 so i'll say that where my stocks gonna go so it will most likely look like like something like this this is for a uh, so this is uh, this is price so i'll call this as a price right and this is the probability so the most likely the this is the how the scenario will look like um now if i'm talking about uh, one week so these are all just made up numbers so you can also say it's one month so in that case the probability will look more like this so this will be 80 uh, sorry this will be uh, 120 and this will be 80 and this is the uh, this is 100 right so now this is again we call this as a probability so the probability is higher uh, it's more likely it can go to 80 right so if you look at here uh if you ask me can it go to 80 you'll say not very likely if you ask here will it go to 80 in one week maybe a lot of things can happen in one week now if i'm talking about uh, uh one month now so you'll say anything can happen right so in one month you can like let me do it more like this so now this could be um 60 and this is um 140 and uh, and this is 100 so the probability is still at there at 100 but now it's more flattening up now now this is okay this is you will say oh uh, i understand this i know this this is not like super complicated concept and and i would agree this is not a very super complicated concept but it's uh, always give you more clarity when you understand why certain things are happening so now look at this case so in the case of one right so if i'm asking for the call option call so what is the call for strike 110 so i'll say what's the likelihood so this is a so k is equal to uh, 110 so what's the likely that it will go to 110 i'll say not much so maybe i'll call it at 50 cents so 0.0 dollars so that will be the my call price right now if i'm if i'm talking about uh uh call uh, after uh, one week so in that case it's more likely to go uh to uh, uh 120 right so if for 110 the same price will be equal to uh maybe Five dollars, and then if I go here, the call price for K is equal to one hundred ten, could be equal to fifteen dollars, right? So, so now you can see that as you give more time to the stock, it's more likely it can go farther distances, and that means uh, your call price is increased. So, if you keep waiting, uh, your slowly will have a time decay. and uh, uh wherever the price is it's more likely less likely for it to move away so this is how the call prices and stock uh, or the put prices are actually calculated in stock market right and if you really want to know how they are uh stay tuned and we'll show you in other videos so so this is uh, one of the way so this is one of the uh, concept where uh random walk is used Uh, another way of uh, random walk so where do you use random walk so let me talk about science now so now suppose uh, uh, i'm i'm uh, standing uh, i have I, i'm stand so there is there is a room here so uh, so consider this as a whole room and i i'm standing here so i i'm i'm here and uh, i have a perfume on me so perfume on me and uh, now i'm 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 here and there is another person here so will this person gonna get my perfume or like we're gonna smell the perfume right so 
if i look at the perfume particles they will be more like this right so they are all here right so what will happen is that after some time uh this particles going to move so this is going to move like this because now this is the particle so they are they don't have any home or they are not getting out of the bar so for them the bar is me because i so perfume is on me right so they're going to move around in random direction right so so what will happen is that because these are a lot of particles so if i draw the uh the gaussian distribution so this is the gaussian distribution of these particles right um because these are a lot of particles you're going to have all the cases lot of particles going to stay around me so this many particles so this is so, so let's call this as a probability and 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 uh, this is the this is me me here right and this is the person here so this is the another person here so suppose if the probability here is uh 1% so what i'm going to do is suppose if i have 100 like 1000 total particles so i can just multiply it by uh 0.01 and that will be equal to 10 particles so 10 particles going to reach here and then if i want to calculate here how many particles here so i'm going to just go here and i'll say oh this is 6% maybe i'm just making up the number so if this 6% i'm going to have 60 particles here and then if i'm looking at here then this could be maybe 30% so i'm going to have 30 particles here so 30 into uh, 1000 so like, i mean to say 0.3 into 1000 is 300 so i'm going to have 300 particles here so 300 60 and 10 right so this person going to have 10 particles from the perfume i'm wearing right uh, but what will happen uh, if i wait for longer so instead of uh, like suppose this was after 5 minutes uh if i wait for 10 minutes then what will happen or, or like maybe 1 hour after 1 hour the probability distribution will look more like this so in this case uh this person is going to have more particles so maybe you can say 10% so 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 if you if i go back here then this person is going to have uh increase in the particle number so it will go from 10 to 100 and slowly to 150 and slowly it should all distribute so this is uh, how you define diffusion so if you are a chemical engineering student or uh, or any interest or in chemical engineering or diffusion uh, you will be uh, introduced to uh, the concept of diffusion in the first year of your uh, college and uh, and this is uh, the concept although they don't teach you exactly like this uh, there are some equations but uh, yeah this is how the the idea is um so this is a, another uh, example of uh, uh use of random walk uh for the uh, for in the science right so i hope uh, this uh, video help and uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel uh, we will be doing lot of uh, simulations uh, excel and uh, discussing more of this concept uh, in a fun way so that uh, concept is uh, you don't need any kind of uh, prerequisite uh, to learn this concept and uh, you can also learn some programming uh, if you are interested so i hope this video helps and i'll see you later thank you